FEMA officials are cautioning that this powerful storm will impact power infrastructure much more significantly than we saw with Hurricane Florence. The majority of that destruction expected in Florida and in Georgia. Now, in addition to the wind damage, officials are saying that they are expecting storm surge to impact more locally than we saw with Hurricane Florence. So how exactly is the federal government preparing for this storm? Officials say they already have a large contingency in Florida from Hurricane Irma. The National Incident Management Team is currently on the way to the region. Their regional management team already at the Florida Emergency Operations Center. In addition, FEMA has a team currently in Atlanta that are standing by if needed. Stopgap commodities like food and water are on hand in Atlanta and can be sent anywhere in the panhandle. Now, I spoke with FEMA Associate Administrator Jeff Biden about the challenges of responding to a storm that formed so quickly. The biggest challenge that, that it, it presents us is, is getting that critical word out, getting the information out, getting the warnings out to our citizens and having them uh, have the ability to, to have some time to, to think about it, let it soak in and then realize, you know, we need to act. You know, we have that when we have, uh, like Hurricane Florence, where it's multiple days of, of the warnings going out. It hasn't affected us from an operational standpoint. Um, but, you know, having uh, the short amount of time is very critical. Members of Congress are also being briefed by FEMA on Hurricane Michael today. Now, FEMA officials here are urging those in the path of the storm to heed local warnings and to evacuate if told to do so. They also urge those to download the FEMA app that will give you up to date notifications and will help you decide what to do before during and after the storm and we'll continue to keep you up to date as we learn more but for now reporting in washington samantha giroth spectrum news